Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to do a little bit of a meta video. I've had people ask me how I make my videos. And so today, I'm going to show you what tools I use. I use a variety of tools from Audacity to OBS Studio to Shotcut to PowerPoint and Canva. And for the most part, these tools are all free or open source. I use Audacity to record a script or to record voiceovers where I need to add something extra. For my more formalized videos like the PubMed playlist and Searching School, I used Audacity to record a script first and then I used OBS Studio to record the screen to match the script. I used OBS Studio to record my 5 Minute Fridays because in OBS Studio I can record both audio and video at the same time. Most of my videos recently, as of September 2022, have been made with OBS Studio. Then I use Shotcut for video editing. Shotcut allows me to edit the video, edit the sound, and to add music and slides before I finalize the video. And then finally I use PowerPoint and Canva to create slides to use as intros and outros to each video. Here's what Audacity looks like. You can download it at audacityteam.org. I use it to make sound files. You can edit the sound files here, or you can edit the sound files in Shotcut. Here's what OBS Studio looks like when it's recording. There are a lot of customizations you can make here. You can use a green screen. You can put yourself in the picture. You can choose not to record sound or to record sound, so it's a really super useful and powerful program. And then here's Shotcut, and this is where you can add video, images, music, and sound, and make your final edits before exporting to an MP4. There are a couple of other things that I recommend. Highlighting your mouse cursor. I did that by following instructions from a person I'll tell you about in just a minute. But once you highlight your mouse cursor, it's going to make it really easy for your viewers to follow your mouse cursor on the screen. So with a few simple steps, you can highlight your mouse cursor and make it really easy for your viewers to follow along. Another thing I'd recommend is investing in a high quality microphone. So it makes a big difference when you have a video with good sound versus a video with poor quality sound. I really don't like listening to videos with low quality sound, and so for me it was important to get a good microphone. I have a Rode NT-USB Mini. It wasn't that expensive. I'll put a link in the video description below. So my process looks like this. I record the screen and sound with OBS Studio. This is how I do most of my videos. If I'm doing something really formal, I'll probably do a script with Audacity and then a screen capture video with OBS Studio. And then I'll edit it and add music and slides in Shotcut. And then finally I export from Shotcut to an MP4 file and upload it to YouTube. Now I'm not the person to teach you how to use all of these tools. I wanna give a shout out to a person I watched on YouTube quite a bit when I was learning to do all this. His name is Kevin Stratvert. He has a YouTube channel where he teaches you to use all of these tools from Audacity to OBS Studio to Shotcut and more. So big shout out to Kevin Stratvert if you need to learn to use these tools. I think his videos are super high quality. So that's how I make my videos on YouTube. If you're going to make videos on YouTube, good luck. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.